I'm saying is, instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials. <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. True. You know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I'd trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I guess this'll do. Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? But there wasn't enough work. I feel like we did work. First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer. And hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. So, none of my squad want to talk to me, just Lyndon and Arda. What up, Lindy? More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't talk right now. Oh, my! The squadron is waiting. I only did it because I felt obligated. If Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. But the sooner the better, if you ask me. He finished the Starhawk. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. They can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's. It's still already in. finished, so. The commander is a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. Just keep staring at your Empire head. When occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials. Playing the dumb alien. A bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. And Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? Sure. I'm planning on going in mind. Kind of bothers me. Like, hey, talk to me. And it's like, oh, I don't, I can't talk right now. What up, Frisky? So, the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. 
I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> sure. Of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, yeah. say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the abyss just for the chance to destroy some magnite crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. Better be good. There's one good thing about this new Republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. Doesn't seem weird to destroy a Star Destroyer, which is a perfectly good capital ship for a Star Hawk. Which, you know, unproven. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Yeah, maybe. Sending our brand new Star Hawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Jade's must have complete faith in its builders. Sure. And in us, of course. Like, we'll why we? This ruse work after all. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. It's incredible. The so magnetic crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing magnite crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? Like, none of this matters. Finish the Starhawk. Like, Teresa failed. You got your choice of fighters for this mission. An X-Wing, Y-Wing, or A-Wing. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. You're gonna like that. Guaranteed to satisfy. Did all that work? I'm just gonna end up in a fucking Y wing. Thanks, Cuddy. 
The convoy's droid autopilot ain't smart enough to steer through these asteroids. Then let's blast them a path. Get them back. Fighting in this place. Nobody panic. This is the plan. Defend the convoy and keep 
Keep luring the Overseer to the ambush point. How could you challenge an Imperial Star Destroyer? Get those asteroids! If the Overseer catches the convoy, it's toast! Guess Teresa decided to handle this convoy herself. Looks like the convoy's blocked again. I got the cold sweat on my neck. Stay focused. I am. I'm very focused on the Star Destroyer right behind me. Nowhere to go. Launch fighters! More Imperial fighters! Check behind! Focus on the bombers! B6, shields front! B6, shields rear! Get too close to fucking Star Destroyer. I guess it's the lesson here. More Imperial fighters, check behind. They blocked onto my ship. Gotta take out those bombers. <laughs> Let's get it off our tail then. Doesn't count, Linden. Six weapons. Excellent shot. My lord. Withdraw through the bottleneck to a 
safe position. Come on, let's push on. B6, shield rear. Starhawk works. They toss the Overseer around like a loath rat. Good. And lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Mm -hmm. 